In today's episode of the More Members Now podcast, I'm going to share with you the camel that is staring you in the face. As a matter of fact, many of you are nose to nose with this camel and you don't even realize it. Take an inside look at our recent conversation I had with one of our mastermind members where I shared and I pulled back that there's a camel in your face. Welcome to the More Members Now podcast with Scott Whitaker, where you can get more members, increase retention, and multiply the profits from your membership program. And now, your host, best-selling author, speaker, and founder of Membership Multipliers, Scott Whitaker. So I was talking with one of our mastermind members and we were digging down on their business. And uh, I just began to hear a number of things. Now, this person actually told me that they felt like their membership business was in shambles. Now, I, I wouldn't call it in shambles. It was just that they had a camel staring them in the face. Here's what I mean by this. I'm going to share with you a, a metaphor, a little story here. There used to be this guy. He was traveling out in the desert. He was a desert nomad. And it was just him and his trusty camel. And he was traveling the desert and, you know, looking for the next oasis. Well, evening started to come. The sun started to set. And on the horizon, he could see that there was a sandstorm making its way toward him. So he said, well, I need to pitch the tent. I need to go ahead and make sure my tent is secure. And so he pitched his tent made it secure, made it sure, made sure that it was going to withstand all of the wind and all of the sand that would blow against it throughout the night. And so as the evening drew near and the sandstorm came closer, he got inside his tent. And the sandstorm ended up coming upon him. I mean, like he could hear like almost every single grain of sand hitting in against the tent. He could hear the, the, the whistling of the wind against the ropes holding down his tent. But here's the thing. His tent was secure. He knew. He pitched the tent. He secured his tent. He also heard his trusty camel outside of his tent. You know, letting out some moans and some groans. But he knew his camel would be okay. Until all of a sudden. He saw his camel poke his nose, the camel's nose, underneath the tent. He thought to himself, well, you know, it's my trusty camel. I want to take care of my camel. My camel takes care of me. So it's just his nose underneath the tent. It's all right. I want him to get some fresh air. I don't want the sand to get up his nostrils or in his mouth or anything like that. So he let the camel just poke his nose underneath the tent. Then he started noticing some ruffling again a little bit later. And all of a sudden, the camel's head was now underneath the tent. And the guy thought to himself, well, you know, hey, let me, uh, let me allow him to just have his head underneath the tent. Because, well, you know, I don't want his eyes to get ruined by the sand that's blowing and the wind and everything else. So he'll be fine. It's my trusty camel, my trusty companion. It's just his head underneath the tent. And then a little while later, somewhere along in the middle of the night, as that sandstorm was blowing, he noticed his camel pushing further underneath the tent. And as he pushed further underneath the tent to get his whole body underneath the tent, guess what happened to the tent? It blew away. It blew away. And now the man and his trusty camel were outside in the sandstorm trying to withstand the storm. Now, why would I share this story with you? Well, it's because some of you are staring face to face with a camel inside your tent. You see, what happens as business leaders is that we end up making allowances. We make compromises that maybe necessarily we wouldn't make. I'm not talking about compromises of integrity. I'm just saying compromises of, well, I'm just not going to, you know, follow up with that task. I'm just not going to follow up with that prospect. I'm just 
not going to focus in on getting more members, whichever it may be. And so the camel gets its way underneath the tent. Here's the thing that you need to know about camels, though. You see, camels actually have like not just one eyelid and not even just two eyelids. They actually have three eyelids. They are able to protect themselves because they were designed to withstand the sandstorm. They were designed to withstand the wind. And whereby you think you're making allowances, that you're doing something that even potentially could be good, you, you've got to realize that the camel is designed to withstand that sandstorm. There's no need for you to allow that camel underneath the tent. They can withstand it outside the sandstorm. Sometimes in your business, you have to say that camel whatever it is, is going to withstand the storm. I can't bring it into the tent. Because if you allow it to come into your tent, then all of a sudden, your business will be in shambles. So let me ask you for a moment, just as you reflect, what allowances have you been making in your business? What compromises have you been making in your business? For this person in particular that I, I'm working with, it was that uh, they have a family member who was, you know, helping in the business, but was taking the business in a different direction. Now, it wasn't a wrong direction. It was a good direction, but it wasn't the direction of the intent of the business or the owner. So are you being dragged in a direction that you're not intended to go? Are you making those compromises with yourself and maybe even compromising what you promised for your members? You're letting the camel get underneath the tent. What if you made a decision today to no longer do that? Made a decision today to say, I'm going to address the camel that is staring me in the face. This was a conversation that I had with one of our mastermind members. And if you're interested in being a part of a like-minded group of membership business owners who are interested in multiplying their membership, who are interested in holding each other accountable to, to doing the right thing, who are interested in pushing forward and pressing forward so that they can get more people in membership so they can serve more people, then I want to invite you to send me an email. Scott at membershipmultipliers.com. Again, that email address is scott at membershipmultipliers.com. Just put it in the subject line, podcast. And I'll know that you have an interest in potentially learning more and making sure that it's a right fit for you, this Membership Maximizers Mastermind. You see, I enjoy helping people. I enjoy, enjoy helping them get more members because I know when I do that, that I'm helping multiply their money and their power in the people that they serve. So if that's you, shoot me an email. Let's have a conversation and let's address the camel underneath your tent. You've been listening to the More Members Now podcast with Scott Whitaker. To find out more about Scott or learn how you can grow your membership business, visit membershipmultipliers.com. Or you can also get a free copy of Scott's brand new book, Accelerate, how to get your next 10, 100, 500, or 1,000 members. Just go to acceleratemymembership.com.